Hey there, art friends, Miss McNeil here. So today what we're gonna talk about is form. And we are gonna take two-dimensional two objects and create their 3D form. So if you have a circle, you can transform it into a sphere by adding three dimensions. If you have a rectangle, you can make it turn into a 3D form where it goes back into space. Now you can do this on plain paper, and we're going to be doing that today on these. So go ahead and get your pencil and paper ready, and we're going to get started, okay? All right, friends, so what we're going to do is we are going to learn how to draw arrows, stars, and the wicked awesome S's right here. All right, so with the arrows, go ahead and get your pencils and paper ready. And remember, this is just practice. And we're going to start right here. We're going to do a vertical line up. I'm going to do a horizontal line across. A vertical line up. Now make sure these lines are on the same level. We're going to do a horizontal line across and a horizontal line across and notice those ones go out. Now I'm going to do a diagonal up and a diagonal up. Now we're going to repeat this process and this one make sure you draw lightly. I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to start right about here and that's going to be this line but on the back side. So I'm going to do a vertical line up, horizontal line out, make sure it goes outside of this one, vertical line up, make sure it goes up to the same level as that one, two horizontal lines out, and then two diagonal lines up that come together. Now you're going to draw, you're going to connect all of these corners, and there's a lot of them, so let's pay attention. Let's start up at the top. So I'm going to go from the point to the point, this point to that point, this point to that point, this one there, this one there, these last two. Okay, so that's a lot right there. And I'm going to show you how to do that down at below of how to do that see-through. Alright, now let's do our star. Now there's many different ways to do the star. The star has a lot of angles and a lot of corners. So we're going to do the slightly easier way, where we draw a full line here, where we go all the way up and then down, and then across, across, and then back. And we'll erase as we go. Okay? Otherwise, it takes a lot of practice to go up and out and back. So let's draw the slightly easier way to do this. So I'm going to go up at a diagonal, down at a diagonal. Remember, you're drawing lightly because we're about to erase a bunch of these lines. And then I'm doing another diagonal up and out. Then I'm going flat across. And then I'm going to connect these last two points. Now I'm going to erase all these lines inside. Now don't forget, these stars are really tricky, but I think you guys can do it. And you can practice many, many, many times. Now we're going to do the same thing, we're going to do the same thing, the next star is going to be up and out here, and we're going to erase those lines too. So I'm going to start right about here. I'm going to go up, diagonal, make sure it's going higher than this, than this one here. Going down, diagonal, up and across, diagonal, flat, across, and then connect it in. Now try your best to erase only the inside lines of these. And if you erase some of your other star, that's okay. You can fix that. You kind of know where they are. Alright. Now we've got that star still back here. Alright. Now we're going to start connecting all of our lines together. So I'm going to start at this corner, go back. This corner goes back there. This top point goes back. This corner goes to there. Remember, these are corners. I'm going to go from this one to there. That one goes there. This one goes out. Connecting our corners, my friends, all of our corners. All right, and this corner. That looks like a lot of lines, and a lot of them we're going to erase here soon. So that's our form for our star. This one takes a lot of practice. Now, 
let's do our really cool awesome S right here. Let's go down a little bit. Now, notice we start with three lines in a row above each other. All right. So I'm going to do three vertical lines. One, two, three. They're kind of short. I'm going to go right below it. I'm doing the same three lines. One, two, three. Now I'm going to go from this diagonal up, this one diagonal up, same thing here. I'm going to go, but I'm going to go down, diagonal down, diagonal down. Okay, now pay attention. I'm going to go from this middle line. I'm going to go diagonal down to the outside point. Okay, and now I'm going to start in this middle one, and I'm going to do a diagonal up to that outside point. Now, I'm going to go to this from this one, in, this one, in. Now, you can repeat the same process of drawing the three lines, but let's try something a little bit harder. Let's just skip the drawing the three lines again, and let's just draw the lines going from each corner back, okay? Now, you can do it and just draw it like the other techniques, but let's try it with this one. So, I'm going to start up here. I'm going to do a diagonal line out. I'm going to go from this corner, diagonal, same diagonal. Notice they're not very long. Okay? And then you can connect those two. Okay? I'm going to go from here, out, and this one's going to go down, straight down. I went a little long on that one, but that's okay. Now this one is going to be going at that same angle. Let's go from right here, diagonal out. Now look what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to do a line that goes straight up in. Let's do another one. Diagonal out. This one's going straight down like this line. Now let's go from this one, do a diagonal out, and connect it. Okay. Now let's practice these where we erase some of these lines. So it's kind of like this, a little bit cleaner down here. So our first one, we're going to repeat again. It's an arrow. Let's draw our arrow over here. Let's practice. So we did a vertical line up, horizontal line cross, vertical line up. Now let's do two horizontal lines out and do two diagonal lines up to a point. Now let's repeat that same arrow starting right about here. Vertical line up. Horizontal line across, vertical line up to the same point, go out and out, and then two more vertical lines, or, or diagonal lines, sorry. Now, you're going to connect your lines together, your points, all of your corners, each of them. Now, these ones over here, you're going to erase. Now you're going to pick which arrow you want in front. So if you want this arrow in front, you have to erase some of these lines in here. If you want the first arrow in front, now we're going to erase some of those. So if I want my first arrow in front, I'm going to erase this inside line here. Remember drawing lightly makes it so you don't see your ghost lines. I'm going to get rid of that line right there. I'm going to get rid of this. And that little one. And this. So I erased a lot of our lines. And now we're going to add some shading. So I'm going to shade in right underneath here. I shade this side really nice and dark. And I'm going to lightly shade this top part right here. Now, you can add some shadow down here on the ground. Alright, there's our arrow. Remember to practice that one. Now let's try our star. And we're going to use the same technique that we did to draw. But now, we're going to erase a lot of those lines. So I'm going to do my diagonal up, diagonal down, diagonal across, flat across, and then connect. Draw, and then erase these lines before we get too many. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm going to start the same thing. I'm going to do diagonal up, diagonal down, diagonal across, diagonal or flat across, and then connect my last diagonal. And then we're going to erase those lines again. Those extra crisscrossy lines. There we go. Alrighty. So now we've got all of our lines here. And now we have to figure out what to connect. So we're going to connect each corner to each part. And remember that we're about to erase a lot of these. So you're drawing super lightly. Can't forget this little guy. In. And I can just go from each corner to each corner. All right, so now let's figure out what to keep. So I want my first star to really show. So I'm going to erase all the lines inside that first star. Now I'm going to keep these lines here. So I'm going to erase these diagonal lines that I used to draw the star. And I'm keeping the flat lines. So you'll start to see them show up. So I'm going to keep these lines right here. All right, and I'm keeping these ones right here. Now I still have two more diagonal lines I need to get rid of. This little guy and this little one. So we're keeping the flat lines that go across. Right? You know, don't even see any of the lines on that side. Now, let's go ahead and start shading. So this part right down here would definitely be in the shadow. And then I'm going to keep um, this side, I'm going to make pretty dark. And I'm going to keep the flat parts a little bit lighter, like this. A little bit lighter. And I'm going to keep that inside part white. Alright, and you can definitely play with that as much as you need to. And let's go ahead and add some shadows down here. Alrighty. That one's very tricky, so don't give up. Practice that a bunch. And if you ever learn how to draw a star without, and I might do a whole video on that, without drawing the lines in between, that makes it a lot easier. Alright, now let's do our S. And we're going to keep that same technique that I taught us. So we're going to do three lines. One, two, three. And three lines again. One, two, three. Now we're going to go diagonal up, diagonal up, diagonal down, diagonal down. Now let's go from that middle line out to, this, to that point to the outside. Same thing, we're going to go from this middle line at the top of it to that out. Now, I want you to go from this line right here, and you're going to go in until it hits that. Same thing here, in, like so. Now, you can draw the, stuff, the, the S again, but we're going to just draw the lines from coming out from here. And you can do that with all of these, finding the correct corners to go from. So I'm going to do a diagonal out, diagonal out, and I'm going to keep that same line here. Okay, now I'm going to do another diagonal out, but this time I'm going to go straight down like this line. Now this one you're not going to be able to see. So I'm going to do another diagonal out, and this one is going to follow that line and it's going to go in. Okay. Now I'm going to do another one, this one's going to go diagonal out, and it's going to go down like that line right there. Last line we're going to do. Diagonal out, and it's going to go in like this line. Now let's go ahead and add some shading. I'm shade in that part down there, and then shade in this part right here. Now this one's going to be kind of in the middle, medium. This one's also going to be a medium. And this one I'm going to do really lightly. Okay. So that's that really cool S that you can learn how to do. And you can do it from different angles. All right, friends. So keep practicing transforming our shapes into forms and making them look 3D like this. 
and have fun making art.